What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, you guys wanted some tips. I did a poll a little while ago, and tips and tricks got a lot of votes. So, I'm going to go over some ground tips with you guys today. I did some striking tips in my last tips video, and I figured I would go over some striking tips. Some of you guys might find this stuff, you know, kind of simple, but who knows? You might find some use out of it, so just bear with me, and we're going to go over some things. So the first thing I want to go over is the rear naked choke. And I'm doing this all live here. So let's get Alexander to back sitting. So how I know where to deny the rear naked choke from, like, like what direction, is I look at the arm that's over my shoulder here. And then I go, okay, so the rear naked choke is going to come from the opposite side. So if I'm looking at the screen, the overhook is is this arm over my shoulder is actually on the on the right side of my screen. So I know the rear naked choke is going to come from the open side, which is this side. I'm going to put some arrows up and things like that so you guys will know. So that's how I know where the choke is coming from. And as we all know, the rear naked choke is kind of a pain in the ass. It's a very powerful submission. They've they've tried to tune it and things like that. So when I, whenever I'm in this position, I'd rather have my opponent go to mount than go for the rear naked choke. So I'm just gonna wait on that denial. I'm gonna you know. So whatever side his arm is over, I'm not gonna worry about that side. I'm gonna worry about this open side. That's what I call it. It's actually the underhook side because this is a over under. Alexander Volkanovski has an over under, so don't worry about the overhook side. Worry about the underhook side, or if you wanna, if you wanna simplify it, just call it the open side because you know his Brian Ortega's shoulder is wide open here, and it, that it doesn't matter what. You know, if it switches, let me try to switch it here. Let's see, how can I do this? Go to side control. Have Brian Ortega go to sprawl. Don't mind me talking to myself. Let's see if I can make it switch sides here. No, I, I messed up. But anyway, just worry about that arm that, you know, that that the arrow is pointing to. Worry about that arm. Don't worry about. So that would be, that would be a denied right. But I want to worry about the choke. So I want to deny left. You know, I'm worried about the underhook side. I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, just leave a comment and I will try to explain it the best I can. So let's move on to another kind of uh, odd submission. And for this, I'm actually going to take the, uh, the strike recording off. And we're going to be talking about the armbar from mount. Which, it actually switches sides. So we're going to go... So how I tell what side to deny... What side... Just guess what side you guys would think it, it would be on. So I'm going to say it's going to be on the right side. If I'm Alexander Volkanovsky and I want to de to deny the Brian Ortega armbar, I would have to deny right. So, and look at that. How I knew that is, it's a very subtle, like, animation, I guess you can call it. But Brian Ortega's head is more to the right side of my screen. See how his head's a little bit over to the right side there? And then... We're gonna switch it here. Oh, I can't. All right, let's uh, let's do this because it can. It will switch sides. So we're gonna go this way, and then see how his head's a little bit more to the left. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. So this is something you know. This just comes with time of of playing the game. And I feel this doesn't get covered enough. But look, the armbar will switch. See? It was on the right side, now it's on the left. 
So I would have to, if I was, again, if I was Alexander Volkanovsky, I would have to deny to the left. So just keep that in mind. Kind of look for that subtle little head. Head is just a little bit more to one side. Whatever that side is, that's the side that the armbar is going to come it's going to come out of and that arm bar can be pretty strong if you're caught with low stamina so if you can if you can get a um if you can get a deny you know you can hopefully maybe get out of mount mounts really a hard hard thing to hold so but anyway let's go back to strike recording and i hope this is all making sense these are just like tips that you know i I was playing, I'm like, you know, maybe I should tell these guys some of this stuff. Just things that I think of, or things that I do when I'm, like, when I'm playing a match. Like, if I get caught in back sitting, I instantly know where the red naked choke is coming from. If I'm in mount, I can at least have a chance to know where the arm bar is coming from. So my next tip is here, is I see a lot of guys do this. I've seen Division 15 guys do this. I've seen... Division 16 to 17 do this. It's, uh, let me switch this. Hitting with the hand that's on the head of Brian Ortega. You're pretty much giving him a free posture up. And if you have low enough stamina, you're going to give him a free transition. So, like, you know, guys will just do this. And a lot of guys, you know, on top that are good, they'll, just, they'll let you do this. You know, they'll let you do this because, you know, you'll drain some stamina. Switch to Brian Ortega and then boom, look. I, I get a free transition out of that. You're giving them either, either one, you're going to give them two things for free. You know, a posture up and a transition. Or you're just going to give them the posture up, which is bad. Why give them anything for free? Make them work for that posture up. You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't. Because you're just giving... And then you can give away damage because they're in a posture up state where they can rain down punches. And we all know that the ground and pound sucks in this game. So, like, just don't put yourself in that position. Just don't punch with that hand, okay? Punch, you know, you have a hand right here you can punch with that it does the same amount of damage. It's not much, but it, it builds the same... The same amount of uh, GA grapple advantage, so use that hand. So my next one is might as well. Let me see if I can get to Brian Ortega's full guard here. So Brian Ortega, we know has the uh, the rubber guard, right? So we know he has that. So, a lot of people think since he has the rubber guard, he doesn't have the full guard momentum uh, transition, but as you see right there, he does. The only person that doesn't have this is Dustin Poirier, because he has all four submission slots when you hit L2. So, you hit L2, you go full guard, and this will give you some momentum to either do that transition, or you can just use it, you know to get up for for a faster get up or just to fake your just to fake out your opponent you know but look actually let's do it slow so this is the slow get up and now I'm going to show you the faster get up with the momentum transition so full guard look how fast this is see how much faster that is and then you're back to your feet if you don't want to be on the ground but if you want to stay on top, you can do that for the the half guard, half guard sweep. But anyway, I don't want to make this too long. But let's uh, let's just recap a little bit here. Yeah, let me switch to uh, Volk, uh, Volk here, Volkanovski. So so when I'm in this position, what I do is I pretty much try to deny the open side, which is a side without Volkanovski's arm over my shoulder. So right now it would be the right side. See, 
the very naked choke, you would have to go right. As I said, it's very important, you know, we all know this choke's been OP since, since you know, the birth of the game. They've tried to tune it, but I, feel, I still think it's pretty strong, but... The problem really isn't the choke, as people have said, and I, I agree, it's how, how easy it is to get someone's back, but that's for a whole nother video. So let's go to top mount with Wokanowski. I'm not going to take off the strike recording, you just, just have to kind of kind of look at it, see how his head's a little bit to the right side. That means the arm bar is going to be to the right. So let's see if I can get back to half guard. See if I can get it to go to the other side. Nope. Okay. So let's do this. Oh. Here we go. Now his head's a little bit more to my left side. So. Boom. The arm bar is on the left. That's a tricky... That's a tricky submission because it moves. It doesn't stay, you know, it's, it doesn't always stay in one side. So just look for that animation. And then don't punch with, you know, don't punch with a hand on the head. Just, just don't do it. It's, I mean, come on now. Would you let someone hit you for free? On, on the feet, would you give them a free strike? No. You want to make them work for it. Make them work for that posture up. And then, if you have a fighter that has the rubber guard, besides Dustin Poirier, you can do this full guard stuff. Either the sweep, or you can use it to get to your feet. But alright guys, I hope these tips maybe made you think a different way about denying transitions. At least those, you know, those subs that are pretty, uh, pretty powerful. The, the thing on the head thing is just more of, I just get annoyed because it's so simple, it's like... Stop doing it. You're giving me, you know, you know, you're making me, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a pet peeve. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Would you let, would you let go of their head in real life? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, in the, the full guard thing, the, for guys that have the, the rubber guard is just, you know, figured I'd point that out that you you know you do have this tool still the full guard momentum and that actually switched half to uh huh, to the rubber guard but you guys know what i mean all right guys that's enough for me i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like do all that subscribe if you're new and uh i'll see you in the next one peace